Kyle against Richie Allen. What a battle. The two top men facing each other. The pitch. Oh, the legendary Phil Rizzuto on the call for New York. On this date, 50 years ago, Dick Allen hit one of the most memorable home runs in White Sox history. A pinch hit three run homer in the bottom of the ninth to beat the Yankees in front of over 51,000 fans at Comiskey Park in game two of a doubleheader. Allen was not supposed to even play in the game. He was eating a chili dog in the clubhouse when they asked him to pinch hit. And uh, there's a new book about this game that uh, that season and Dick Allen called Chili Dog MVP. Here is the book. You got to go out and get it. Uh, Dick Allen, you knew him yes, very I the, well. I had the opportunity, I had the privilege yeah. to talk to him a lot about baseball. I had the privilege to be with him and have a couple of dinners when he was in spring training with us. And I was the privilege to be at the Philadelphia, have a lunch with him and my wife uh, before he passed away. But uh, this man, he was special. Yeah. Crazy. And by the way, the pre-release Ozzy sleep with Dick Allen almost every night because Sada wears his t-shirt to go to sleep every night. And we kept so we your, make, your son's we make, your wife, wife uh, make, Sarah. I like Sarah even know who Dick Allen is and she sleep with Dick Allen t-shirt every night. Anyway, this man I got him is he is, was a hitting coach on spring training. Yeah. And when he talked to you about baseball, about life. Yeah but the life he live and American people live in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, and I learned from him a lot of them because the, all, all the stuff he went through it and the people went through it before him. Yeah. It was amazing, a great conversation every night when I saw him, he called me a Sukita, a sugar man. And he's, he's one of the very tough guys to be around, but very lovely, love baseball. And, but, he don't take crap from no one. No. He loved his horses. Yes. Oh, he went back in the farm, loved his horses, stayed down there. It, it was, to me, it was a privilege to meet that man. Yeah, he won the MVP for the White Sox in 1972. Goose Gossage said that he hit a ball through the arches at Old Comiskey Park. Can you believe that? Oh, that's easy. That, that man is right there. <laughs> I like it. Go, smoke a cigarette, put it on a sign. <laughs> Walk. You know, that's amazing. Now players watching TV, watching videos, yeah, watching yeah, this yeah. man. Next hit it. Put it down, put his helmet on. Whack! I don't need to watch anything. Amazing. A yeah. what a ability he had with his bat in his hands. Yeah. It was amazing baseball player. Yeah, they call him the chili dog, or at least the book, the chili dog MVP, because he was eating a chili dog, had some mustard on his uniform, boom, hit that homer to beat the Yankees.